Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this squad builder with me, Boy Thief One HD, where we will be putting together an absolutely unbelievable Premier League squad that comes in at around the 200k mark, obviously this being at the start of FIFA, but it uses some incredibly high rated players, some really solid picks that are very good early on in this game and probably will last through until the end. These are some really overpowered players that all combine to be one hell of a team. So I'm sure you'll enjoy this video, guys. If you do, of course, hit that like button as that will really help me out. And also the subscribe if you are new here. And if you have any questions on any of the players, maybe even think that I should have used someone different, maybe a different formation, etc. Let me know all of that in the comments below. Let me know what's working for you and who's doing well for you in FIFA 20. So without further ado, we're going to kick off in goal with Bernd Leno. 84 rated, really solid goalkeeper, some lovely stats on him. I think this guy is really, really good. The only thing that maybe lets him down a little bit is his kicking. But I actually found his distribution pretty solid, uh, especially playing up to the sort of target striker that I do have. He was actually really good. He made great saves, very good in the air, came and claimed a lot of things. I was really happy with him, I think he's really well uh, priced at the moment, quite affordable, so a really solid pick, good decent rating for early on in FIFA and a really good player to be using. Now for the defence, I'm going to go ahead and put all of them in before I talk about them all, and the first of which is wan -Bissaka. then we're going to go for Socrates, followed by Gomez. And finally, Luke Shaw. So it's a really solid defence, as you can see there. There's a lot of pace overall. Um, the two centre-backs in particular with 72 and 81 is supremely overpowered. Joe Gomez is fantastic at chasing people back. Socrates is a little bit more solid defensively. Makes some really good tackles. But between the two of them, they can definitely hold their own. They're really, really good for tracking back, for making proactive tackles. Very good in the air, quite big and strong. Just the two of them combined provide a really good shield in front of Leno. In terms of the fullbacks, I absolutely love Luke Shaw and wan -Bissaka. They are fantastic first picks for your left back and full back spots in general. They are just absolutely incredible at getting up and down the pitch all day long. And they do it so, so well. They really do join in on the attacks. They really create a lot of chances as well, as you'll see with some of these clips. wan -Bissaka in particular, really got involved in the goals and he was a big crucial part to how we attack and Luke Shaw the same both very good going forward but also equally very good in defense making lots of tackles interceptions and just pushing people down the channel rather than towards the goal now in central midfield um, we are going to customize this a little bit and we're going to go ahead and put a, uh, a cam at the moment uh, but obviously you can move him and that will be Ozil. Then we're going to go ahead and put Ndombele in the middle. Before then putting Kovacic uh, in the final position. And as you can see, the pace on all of them is, is very good. 70 on Ozil is actually the lowest at the moment. But 80 on Ndombele and 76 on Kovacic. It's a very workman-like midfield, if I'm being honest. Apart from Ozil, who does bring a little bit more quality... I have basically picked Ndombele and uh, Kovacic because they've got good pace, decent defensive skills where they sort of feel a lot higher than the rating would suggest. They really do cover the pitch well. They're the engine and the heartbeat for the team. And Ndombele in particular was incredible. Obviously, he was playing that role where I would ask more of him in defensive situations. He was in the heart of the midfield, but he did that so well. The amount of interceptions, last-minute tackles... Everything that this guy provided was just absolutely incredible. I really, really rate this guy. One of the best early on investments you can make. He's not too expensive and well worth the coins. Kovacic is a cheap bargain, to be quite honest. Won't cost you very much at all. Under about 3k, which is really good for an 82 rated. Uh, solid player with some decent stats. Very confident and comfortable on the ball with his uh, pace and his dribbling ability and his passing, and also pretty useful in defensive situations. Ozil will also definitely rack up a few goals and assists along the way too, with his a little bit more quality on the ball, but overall a really solid midfield. Now, we're going to go ahead and put the first of our front three in, which is going to be Pepe. Now, Pepe is a 
brilliant player in this game. Obviously, moved to the Premier League now, had a fantastic season last year, uh, and really does carry some incredible stats with his base goal card. The pace is phenomenal. Great for counter-attacking, great for moving the ball quickly, and this guy can carry it really, really well because he's got incredible dribbling. 85 overall is really solid, great agility too. I absolutely love this guy on the ball, and what's more, he really did get a ton of goals, created chances for others, and was just a lively, energetic player that will cause defences absolute headaches, nightmares in fact. He's just that good. Really do rate um, Pepe. He's a little bit expensive for his rating, 83 overall. Not the highest rating in the world, but he is really, really solid. Now at left forward, again, we're going to have to uh, change this slightly because uh, I haven't actually uh, adopted the right position. But it doesn't really affect how he plays. He's got good chemistry links around him. And that is Martial. Very similarly to Pepe, a great pacey option that carries the ball well with equally matched dribbling and very solid shooting. The two of them combined have very, very solid shooting and that makes them a real danger because they've obviously got the ability to carry the ball at pace with both got four star skill moves, both got really good dribbling and pace, but they've also the ability to cut inside onto their stronger foot and really take advantage of that incredible shooting. And they do it both so, so well. Lots of goals here. They really do top the team off very, very nicely indeed. And Martial is an absolute exceptional player that is well worth the investment of coins for what he brings to the team. Now, our final spot and the main man for the team is definitely Harry Kane. He is the biggest rating, the highest rating in this team. He is exceptional, a really solid player. Yes, he's not fast, but that's why you've got Pepe and Martial around him. They complement him so well because the ball often comes from the midfield into Kane. He holds it up. He rides the challenges from the big defenders, and then he plays it in to either Martial, Pepe, or maybe back to Ozil or someone like that, and then they're able to springboard forward, and then the attack really does get going. So the hold-up play that Kane brings, the physicality that he has, and the robustness, winning lots of flick-ons, winning things at corners, just the, the overall target man approach really, really works with this team because you've got a lot of pace anyway, both at the back, in midfield, and obviously the two players either side of him, and Kane just brings that little bit of quality, little bit of calmness that you really need, and obviously in front of goal, he is calmness personified. So, so clinical, both from close range and from long range he can score a wide range of goals he's got the ability in the air to be very very deadly too he is just a brilliant player that will top the team off nicely he's not too expensive compared with his rating obviously an 89 rated player in the premier league usually would go very very expensive but because of the pace being an issue for most people he's actually quite affordable and attainable especially with all the bonuses that you'll get early on in fifa I would highly recommend going out and investing in this guy because he is brilliant. He gets himself into good positions with good movement and he tops the team off lovely. So that does conclude the team section of this. Uh, we will go ahead and have a look at the custom tactics. And as you can see for defence, we've got press after possession loss. We're playing not too wide. Uh, in, in the defence. I like to be quite narrow and compact because that seems to work well in FIFA 20. The depth is about even really. It's not too deep, not too high up the pitch. Just gives you the, the good attacking options to get the ball forward when you do win it back. And in terms of offensively, we've got a fast build-up style. Obviously, we want to get the ball into those really pacey players as quickly as possible and, and work those opportunities that way. We've got a width, again, quite narrow uh, because I do like the build-up play between the three. I don't like them being too wide and isolated. Uh, lots of players in the box, lots of opportunities for people to get rebounds and things, which seems to be a big part of FIFA 20. Corners also pretty high and free kicks not too bad there either. And then in terms of instructions, we've got stay central on Kane. We have uh, get in behind on Pepe and Martial. And then the only other instruction is to stay back while attacking and cover centre, as well as aggressive interceptions 
on on Dombele. Everyone else is uh, as as they were. So that concludes the team, guys. As I say, it's a really fun team to use. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it too. I thought they were brilliant, especially early on in FIFA. They are well worth going out and investing some money in. They're not too expensive overall, and obviously you can upgrade these players over time. I thought they were brilliant. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about the team in the comments below, whether you've got any suggestions for improvements or who you're using who's doing well for you in the comments below. And peace.